My name is Charlotte Grossior and I'm from the INRA Institute in Nancy, in France. I'm a PhD student in the Fundiv Europe project and I'm working on the influence of tree species diversity on the response of the carbon and water balance to changing environmental conditions in European forests. Biodiversity drives ecosystem functioning through mechanistic phenomena that are directly under the influence of species interactions. The first type of mechanism is known as competition and arises when species occupy the same ecological niches. And th this mechanism usually leads to a lower ecosystem performance. The second type of mechanism is known as complementarity and arises when species occupy different ecological niches in the environment that they share. And this usually leads to a higher ecosystem performance. It has been demonstrated that there can be a shift from positive to negative effects of biodiversity when climatic conditions are getting harsher, which is predicted by the stress gradient hypothesis. Forests play an important role in the global carbon and water cycle as they are capable of assimilating atmospheric CO2 through photosynthesis and releasing huge amounts of water through transpiration. When soil water decreases, trees adjust leaf gassing changes in order to optimize the carbon gain over the water loss, a trait that is known as water use efficiency. In this study, we used the six exploratory platforms of the Fundiv project to determine if tree diversity can influence water use efficiency during dry and during wet years. We showed that tree diversity influences ecosystem water use efficiency during dry years, but this effect was not shown during wet years. We report that for a majority of forest type in Europe, the increase of water use efficiency due to drought is actually much more important in less diverse forest stands than in the more diverse forest stands. This beneficial effect of tree diversity on the carbon and water cycle is probably due to a complementary use of soil water as rooting systems of different species occupy different layers of the soil. This result suggests that higher tree diversity actually alleviated the water stress to which trees are subjected during drought. So higher tree diversity actually has a beneficial effect on the share of available water in the ecosystems. Higher tree diversity was thus beneficial for the carbon and water cycle. However, we found an exception for northern boreal forest where actually higher tree diversity increased the water stress to which trees are subjected during drought. We report that for a majority of forest type, we actually found a higher water use efficiency in the monocultures than in the mixed species stand. And this higher water use efficiency is due to a more important stomatal regulation of trees because they are suffering from a higher drought stress, which actually means that trees in the monoculture are more suffering from drought stress than the trees in the mixture. Overall, our findings suggest that a possible way to adapt forest ecosystems to future climatic conditions is to favor the management as mixed species stand instead of monocultures.